Hello folks, and today in this video, I'm, I, I'm going to look at YouTube's racial uh, justice uh, inclusion driver, whatever that is. Uh, uh, today I got an email from YouTube saying, here, look at this, um, we're just going to show you how to make the world a better place. So I found this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read it with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna point out some fallacies, and I'm gonna just look at it, laugh at it, and maybe learn something from it. Okay, so I got to this page. It's called the Inclusion Driver. It says tips on how to create content that reflect the world. That's good. YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice and to show them the world. Wow. So I love stats. Stats are basically my middle name, because. As you saw in my last chess video, I like to show off my stats. Anyway, but these stats are really cool because they're just cool. So it says, on-screen representation in media has yet to fully reflect the diversity of the United States. So basically, YouTube wants to make everybody in the United States have a voice. 51% of the United States population is a woman. That means 49% is male. That means I am part of a minority in the United States. Oof. That's... <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is so good. 40% of women are on broadcasting leads. So basically, if the 51% of the population is women, 51% should be on broadcast leads. That's just normal, right? Everybody should do that. That's fairness. Representation, on-screen representation, that's diversity, but life isn't fair. 39% of the United States population is multicultural. Hmm, didn't know that. But only 22% are on broadcast leads. Again, what if, the only, the, the stat is, is an interesting stat, but what if it's just not normal? What, what if, like, um, just, like, white males are just, like, the better broadcasting leads. And that's why they have the majority. I don't know, that's just a thought. 20% of Americans identify as LGBTQ. Whoa, that's a new one. L LGBTQ squared. I bet that's like better than plus or something. Actually, I read that wrong. No, I read that wrong. Okay. Let's get this figured out. 20% of Americans, 18 to 34. So not 20% of Americans. And only 9% are prime time regulars. I realized that that fact is more misleading than I first thought. So for the first figure, 20% LGBTQ, that's 20% of people 18 to 34. And then for the next fact, they're not taking the the they're not taking the percentage of primetime regulars that are 18 to 34 no they're taking all primetime regulars so therefore the number is even lower so it's it's so the second fact makes it look really low and the first fact is making it look really high so that the the change in facts makes it look like it is a super imbalanced system when actually it is probably way more balanced than that Okay, people with disabilities. 13% of Americans have disabilities. So this could be like, um, I guess, a broken leg, uh, maybe a mental disorder, or simply have to stick in a wheelchair, but they're still super smart. I know a YouTuber that I listen to, and he's disabled, so I guess there's someone. Only 2% are primetime regulars. <sighs> Again, this stat is slightly um, lopsided. There's a fallacy of, of um, lopsidedness. Basically, when people are disabled, it means they can't do certain stuff. Like they can't walk or they can't think right or you know, stuff like that. They have a, what is it, a Down syndrome, no, a, a Special Olympics. Like, that's great. But if somebody is disabled, they can't do certain things. And what if one of those things they can't do is being a primetime regular? Like... Or being on, or only, or being in primetime regulars. What if, like, they're disabled, disables them from doing that? So, like, like, that's why there's only 2% because they're disabled and they just can't do that. Like, so that fact is kind of 
you know, just, just, just slightly skewed. Women and multiculture. Women and multiculture people are underrepresented in the STEM or STEM workforce, and in media portrayals. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Ah, learn something new every day. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll give. We'll take their word for it. Why should I care? Why should I care? I don't know. Media can reflect and shape culture. Amen. Media is highly consumed and tremendously powerful. Amen again. It can influence the public's perception of certain subjects and careers and marginalize people. Hey Google, what does it mean when you marginalize someone? Okay, so to marginalize someone would be to like make them work for you or something. Okay, so I guess media can make, I don't know, okay. 73% of U.S. adults use YouTube. Hmm. That's... This is YouTube brag time. YouTube is the most widely used online platform for U.S. adults and teens. Just think of this as YouTube brag time. YouTube brag time. YouTube brag time. Okay. 51% of U.S. adults visit the platform at least once a day. That fact is also slightly askew because when I first read that, I was thinking, oh, 50% of, 51 of Americans visit, visit YouTube every day, but that's not true. It's 51% of adults, so it's like two and a half, like not as many people as you think. 85% of U.S. teens use YouTube. I am one of those. 41% of U.S. I'm a teen. Yeah. Today I turned 15. I must be a teen then. Okay, 41% of U.S. YouTube users are multicultural. I guess they're bragging. I wonder how many are, like, white or Chinese or something. Do they have YouTube in China? Hey, Google, is there YouTube in China? According to Comparatech, yes, YouTube is blocked in China. Force for good. How your channel can foster great inclusion. Consider utilizing equity-driven models to create diverse and inclusive content. Equality aims to promote fairness, but it can also work if everyone starts from the same place and needs the same help. Equity. Equity is giving everyone what they need to be successful, whereas equality is treating everyone the same. Okay. So equity is giving a smart person one dollar and he becomes successful. And equality, no, equity is giving one person one dollar and he'll become successful and giving another person a billion dollars and he'll be successful. But equality is giving everybody one dollar. Okay, just learn something. What top content? What topics are covered and what perspectives are included? Okay, so what am I doing to help uh, diversify YouTube? Boring, 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 boring. Is there diversity among <laughs> my on camera? Yeah, we just had a Mexican on here a while ago. Yeah, we're very diverse. Mm -hmm. and we had a couple chickens. I believe we had a couple chickens. And ducks. Yeah, we had a couple ducks. Yeah, that, that's very diverse. We don't have any girls on here that often, though. Yeah, maybe we'll have to change that. Among my last ten videos, is there diversity among the boys? That, do I even have ten videos? Mm. Yeah, there, there is very diversity we have. Mm-hmm. Very diverse. If I use animation, do they... <laughs> okay, I shouldn't laugh. Is there any, if I use animations or illustrations, do they feature a variety of skin tones, hair texture, and genders? So, basically, if you want to start a YouTube channel that, that uses illustrations, you must, you must remember that, that when you use illustrations, you must take the time to color some brown and black and white and yellow and orange. And you must have different hair textures. Like, mine is fluffy. Some have to be, like, crop top and some have to be dreadlocks you gotta, and, and some have to be male some have to be female you gotta remember that 
Is there the voices among the voices? <laughs> yep, okay. No, there is no diversity among the voice. Oh, is this supposed to check it? Can I check it? Oh, I can't check it. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to print this off and check it, like, on a pad. Okay, yeah. Engagement. How do I so engage and support other creators? Oh, I like this one. Am I educating myself about marginalizing perspectives by engaging diverse blah, blah, blah? I.e. watching, liking, and commenting on multicultural videos. No, I'm not. I only watch white YouTubers. Well, I'm reading this. This is good. This is good. You know, that that is right. I only do watch white YouTubers. That's all. No, I, I only subscribe to him. I watch hmm. I never thought about that. Okay. Who is the intended audience? Have I considered... Constructing my content to seek out and engage a broadly diverse audience. No, I have not because the only people watching are my family. Is my content in if my content includes subject matter that is culturally biased against certain groups, am I providing content as well? Yes, this video is all about um, providing context to um, all the stuff they're talking about and making it not sound as bad as they're trying to make it sound. Organizations should also consider when conducting. Uh, oh, skip that. Behind the camera, who is on my team? Me. <laughs> is there diversity among the production and editorial teams of my channel? Hmm. So I have my director of uh, advice, which is my brother. I have my director of secondary advice, which is my other brother. And my director of um, making sure I don't post anything stupid, uh, that's my sister. And and then the editorial and production teams are me. I like thinking of myself as a team. That's pretty good. Am I engaging experts and thought leaders from the first round? No, I'm not. Uh, sadly, I don't know what I should say. My family's my, family's my uh project um thought leaders so uh they're all white hmm. sources where did they get all this u.s census spur <laughs> <laughs> look at this source number eight yeah youtube just put all the pdf to all its creators their number eight source was themselves mm -hmm. that that's just that normal i here on the hutter man dan channel um, I just wanted you to know that bullet chess is beautiful, and as you can see, I'm going to state my sources right here. Um, it, it says, like, my last video said bullet chess, like, my sources are Hutter Man Dan, but I, what I say is, <laughs> what I say is, is, is the truth. And don't, and don't, don't, like, disobey me. Okay, that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed looking at this diversifying PDF and learning something and laughing a little bit and having a good time. So join me next sometime for another video. Remember to subscribe and uh, if you have a YouTube channel, go read this so that you can learn too. Goodbye.